add a cool map to the bottom. So under here, let's go. All right, so now um, <clears throat> we're gonna go and get a Google map to put here to show a location. So just go to Google Maps and put a destination in. I'm gonna put Tampa and then hit share. And then under share you can put embed map and then copy HTML. And then we can now go back and then paste it there. And it should say iframe. Just like that. Perfect. And then <clears throat> we're going to add <clears throat> uh, a B. So we're going to put Tampa Florida there you go very good and then a paragraph it's a home away from home good Nice, let's go ahead and add a line. Again, that'll be under the map. Save. We haven't styled anything yet, so um, <clears throat> we'll get that organized. Save. Uh, and then last, let's go ahead and create a host section. G images host take that off save good and then let's go get it H2 Gave him the name Brandon. And then we've got paragraph. Inside the paragraph, let's go span. And then the rating. Remember, we did it up here. Rating. Let's go ahead and copy that. Rating again. Copy. And just paste it. <coughs> and then in this span, let's go. And. And. B. S. P. This just gives you nice spaces. Okay, and then finally we'll add go one, two divs down, one, two divs down, and add a uh, contact the host button.
Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so now we have all of our HTML done, and now we just have to style. Yeah. Now let me do five. Okay, so right now we have this little map right here. Now let's style it so that it looks nice. <clears throat> okay, let's go to our styles. Number 50px, top and bottom, and then zero left and right. You can copy this, and now targeting the actual map. There you go, and let's go width. It's 100%, and margin bottom. px good good width 100 percent boom margin bottom here's our 30 30 px good good let's keep going let's go our h3 now Remember font weight, font weight bolds it, and then let's give a margin to the bottom as well. 30px, keep it, keep it the same. Good. <coughs> Good. Okay. The B. Display block. Remember, stack them up like, stack them like blocks. Whoops. There we go. Now they're stacked. Now <clears throat> let's go host. Oops, let's do Awesome. All right, now we're focused on the image. See how now it's nice and rounded. Very good. Nice and rounded. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so now let's go here. Our H2 margin. Bottom, 10px, font weight, whoops, five hundred, good job.
And one more thing. Let's organize that button, our contact host button. In line block, so that's side by side. Just block is member stacked. Forty px that would be the top. Zero on the right. Forty px at the bottom, and then one twenty px on the left. <coughs> there we go. Let's do text decoration none. So there'll be no line there. Good. Um, next, let's change the color. Good. Better. And now let's have some padding. 15 px top and bottom and 50 px left and right and let's now provide a border <laughs> very good and then let's round it a bit Nice, smooth, smooth. Let's see if we can round this um, the same. Let's take that border radius and let's put it to the iframe. Nice. There you go. Let's see. Let me see. Hmm. Okay, don't worry about those. Okay. All right, so now we're in our last few things of we could scratch that too because it's kind of not looking as nice with the blue sides. Let's keep it straight. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so now let's make this look nice um, even when it's on a small screen, like when you're on the phone. Let's make this website responsive. So here we're on a phone and you can see how things are kind of cluttered up. So let's flow through it. Uh, we're going to do, yeah, same under 700. So, let's go. Okay. So, again, we go at media. only screen and max width seven hundred px and create a brace. Now everything inside of this will apply after lower than seven hundred px. So home details. Let's go margin top 150 px. As you can see right now, we're not able to see the words. So if we do 150, save, oops, save, boom. It pushed the words down. Now we can see the title. Good. Okay, next thing will be dot row p 
our paragraphs inside the row, margin top 10px. Okay. Next, let's do inside the gallery. Let's fix up that grid. And let's just do grid template areas. We're going to go first, first. dot dot save all right there we go make sure to put a space in between the dots because now you can see it's much smoother much smoother <clears throat> okay, next, let's go small details, yes, H2, we're going to go font size, 20px, and the margin top. 24 px save good now small details h4 Sweet. Okay. Now let's uh, let's clean up our form a little bit. So you see this small details H four brought this to the left. Okay, our form. Check form. There we go, so that it's just in line now. Let's keep going, let's keep working on it. Let's focus on our inputs. so that we could see how to divide them up. Remember when we put 100%, it's 100% within the section that it's in. Nice, padding at the bottom. Now let's fix this. We can copy this, 
go here and then button. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Now let's clean up the dot host display flex. Line height, yep. Twenty eight EX. Save and then the last one. Let's do our contact host. Let's give it a margin and zero. Good. Let's see how that's looking. All right. Good, good, good. This is looking clean. That's good. This button looks a little wonky. Let's fix that a little bit. Um, now look at it. Boom, boom. Boom and boom. Um, here want it to be stacked there we go that's a little better nice stacked remember blocks stacking like blocks good that looks nice. Okay, now you are done your full Airbnb website. Nice, nice, nice. Looks good. So now let's actually connect that page details to thing to to what it actually is. So let's go um <clears throat> So it's house HTML. So just give your page a cool effect. Let's say we're doing it for the first one. House HTML. Let's do it for the first and the second one. House HTML. Save and then maybe even on the first page. No, not the first page. There's not a direct spot for it. So now I have it connected. We'll go stays. And let's say we wanted to click this. Boom. And now we have our house details. I think that just looks cool. Good. Back. Put it into that one. 
And then for each house, you can copy the featured stays page and then just replace the pictures and words and connect it to each of your different houses that you have. Very good. All right. You made a cool Airbnb style, called it Stay BNB website for you. Great job.